Welcome to FSX Tricky. I hope you brought warm clothes. Character voices. Character voices. David Arquette, the voice of Eddie. Taking candy from a baby. Yeah! That's a script right there. Shout out to my buds! All right! Let's do it. Yeah, it was dope. I was getting mad speed. Rock and roll! You're not really picking me, are you? I got what you need right here, baby. Me, me, me. Come on, pick me. <laughs> Just kidding. I've just been uh, saying a lot of crazy things. Yeah, man, I was getting mad speed! And I hit that lip blood out! Oh, yeah, baby! Woo it's actually uh, harder, harder than playing the game. Sounds really good so far. More manic, uh -huh. more energy you can put in without it zipping off the end. I think this will help. Yeah, <laughs> we threw a couple extra espressos in there. <laughs> Seven. Right on! Baby! I played a lot. Yeah. I usually just play with Mac though, so wasn't really familiar with Eddie. I can see my house from here! Oh he's cool. <laughs> he's just funny. Life is good to Eddie. Me, me, pick me. I'll be your best friend. I think a lot of what'll make this Eddie thing work is just kind of the mock confidence that anytime. You just get on to something, you just keep going with it. That's what I'm talking about! That stuff all makes it better. Hey ho! Let's go! Switches it up, and so when there's new phrases and he does something that you're not expecting, you're laughing. This just did. Looks like Eddie's gonna kick some bootay today! That's pretty, that's the exact tone of character. We'll send you some stuff when we have it together. Great, can't wait. All right, see ya. Have a good day. Macy Gray, the voice of Sia. This is Macy Gray. I've never been a video game character. We got licious! So now I feel like I've made it. I've, I finally arrived. Woo! Oh, I'm flying high! Of course, I played him a whole bunch of times. Yeah, this is gonna be wild because I'm. Um, <laughs> Well, because I've never quite done it before. I was kind of flattered because, you know, that's a true honor. To get going, we'll just go one line at a time. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, I expect you to come in and say like, ooh, ah, oh, oh, help me, here we go. But I didn't know that like video games put that much into character, like making them real, have real personalities. Ooh, his snowboard is whack. Check out the sun. Welcome to the party. Hurry up, go away, get out, beat it. Where you get them shoes? Check it out, I'm a goddess. <laughs> now that's funko -matic. I love video games. Me and my little boy play video games. He inherited my addiction to video games. Like you put the character on a snowboard, <laughs> in a snowboard race, and it makes all the difference in the world in like how they react and the things they say. And, hey Goofy! Are we gonna ride or what? See ya, and I wouldn't wanna be ya. <laughs> You're getting some great stuff. Thanks. Because video games characters are always usually kind of bland. Mm -hmm. I just like when you start going off and just start throwing words together. That's the that's sort of the best stuff. Once I snowboarded, my friend took me and he was trying to teach me. But it was all kind of like you're in the start and you're ready to go. Is that how you start? It was like real scary to do. Like you have to, you kind of have to dare yourself to do it. See, I am a freak when it comes to winning. She's a snowboarder and she wears bell bottoms and she has a ball head. <laughs> she wears fur. I think that's genius. I love her. She's gonna go far. That's fly super fat over the top. That's like blue skies. Buddy. Check me out! Queen of the universe! Thanks. Go away.
Lucy Liu, the voice of Elise. I'm Lucy Liu, and I'm here doing this voiceover for this amazing game. Amazing game. You have great taste. You have great taste. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know the graphics and the way that it was set up was going to be so specific. And I didn't realize that, I guess, video games are their own genre. And that's really fantastic. And that's really fantastic. I never would have expected it to be as amazing as it was. I'm really excited to see how it turns out. It's fun to be something that's completely different. It's completely different. Completely different. It's somewhat over the top. Because she can be cool even though she's kind of full of bravado. She's a puffy peacock. She's a puffy peacock. But she seems to rock. She seems to rock out. And if you feel like you want to be a bad girl, you can sort of click into her, you know? Click into her, you know? Biff Naked, the voice of Zoe. Wow, you've really exceeded your abilities, haven't you? SSX? I thought it was SEX. This girl is the one to get it done. Come on, suck it up! I think Zoe is very um, politically minded. Jolie Ramon! This one's for you! Coming through! She's an exhibitionist and she's a tomboy, but at the same time, she's kind of, you know, she's a girl at heart. Women don't like to be impolite. I am too fast to live and too young to die. And so, you know, to be able to say this in a video game, a character, you know, it's exciting, it's exhilarating, it's empowering, you know, mm. <laughs> I am ripped and ready. Knock, knock, it's you know, me. it's big shoes for someone like me to fill. So I am honored and hope that I do right by the character. You love to screw with people. Right. And so, you know, one is you use both intimidation, mm -hmm. but since people, you know, some of the people are kind of scared of you because you're really, you know, strong and confident. Coming through! Sometimes you twist it the other way. Enough talk! Let's rock! Oh, do you mind? Oh, my God! Get back in there! Wait, 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 Okay, boys and girls, do you want to play? How do I sound? High five. Very good work, very good work. I took one for the team. Jim Rose, the voice of Simon. Here, keep the camera running. So if I, uh, let's see if I can get a, uh, a better voice with this spoon here. Since this guy does a circus type uh, uh, stunts. Winning isn't everything! Ah! I love that! Duck out of 10! Now the extraction, ow, 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 ow. Far more unpredictable than the insertion. Oh, 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 Monkey juice. Now I'm ready, man. Simon says, bite me. Yeah. Adios, dirtbag. Yeah, I love this guy. Look out, look out. Too much. Simon Stark is Jim Rose. Oh, 
<laughs> he doesn't have any friends, so that's pretty similar to me. What's your freaking problem, man? Incredible athlete. You're in for quite a ride! A king of the freaking world! Can do some Herculean type maneuvers out there on the snow. It's been a while since they've let me come out to play. Uh, but a little unpredictable. He can let you down. There are worse things than dying! That's very close to who I am in the Jim Rose Circus. So it hasn't been a real stretch. Yes, man! I can't wait to play this game. When we're on tour, we played uh, the last one. And so now we've got this updated, cooler version. And uh, I know the people in my circus are going to love it, too. As far as uh, the fun -o meter, I'd probably rather do this than my show any day. It's a hell of a lot more fun. Spread the anarchy! You're gonna enjoy this. Oliver Platt, the voice of Luther. I like the seat of my swamp buggy, wimp. You know, Luther's a fine, upstanding member of society who is just, I think, greatly misunderstood, basically. You want rough? I'll give you rough! No. I see pain in your future! Gentle giant, yeah, heart of gold, um, real soft touch. He just, uh, one of those guys maybe got a raw deal in grade school. And they said I'd never amount to nothing. A little bit of the, the South would be nice, if you could throw that in. Five and look alive. These all don't have to be over the top. Some of them could be through your clenched teeth, real low and dangerous. You, you can punch them up as well. Just give us some variety here. You want rough? I'll give you rough. You're always pretending that you're, uh, you're people that you would never be. Next time, I chew you up. And you get to kind of act out in all sorts of extraordinarily inappropriate ways and do things that no civilized person would do. Who still wants a piece of me? Don't worry. It's not too difficult learning how to eat through a straw. Our voice work comes first. And, and then the animators an animate to that, which gives you a tremendous sense of freedom oh, and an opportunity to kind of improvise and not feel constrained and, uh, and really let it rip. Bad plan! Real bad plan! Anybody tried to kiss me, I'll waste them. You know, not having done it before, I really didn't know what to expect. The character description that was sent to me is really very specific in the dialogue they have written. Uh, you know, the visuals all help a, a great deal, and it's really lively, specific stuff. And I just take what's on the page and try and make it as, you know, big and stupid as possible. I'm fun and friggin' win! Say my name! Say it! Touchdown, baby! I actually don't snowboard, but you know, I guess I do now. But who knows, maybe after playing SSX, it'll just be automatic. Too easy, baby, too easy. Patricia Velasquez, the voice of Marisol. It's so good to have a Latin character in a video game. Vale, vale, vamos! Because there's certainly a lot of Latin people that will feel identified with themselves and they can play it. My party is just beginning. I'm always ready to work up a sweat. The fact that she's smart and she's pretty and, um, and she likes to live life. So in a way, it's a really good compliment for Latins that they've written a role like this for Marisol. This was the hardest character for us to write. Because, well, none of us are Latin. Right. The idea is that we don't want it to appeal to Argentina or Mexico or Spain in particular. You got to make it kind of crossover. Pretend you're like talking like kids, mm -hmm. but like, you know, in like some fun, sexy kind of way. Okay. Right? But you're just kind of like, you're kind of like you're hanging there, your friends, be more playful. Hey, how are you? I can go all night. Oye, ¿cómo te va? That wasn't very nice, was it? I find her um, really loving, but also really tough when it comes to play. Big hair! I'm too hot for you anyhow. 
Yeah. They must have read my biography before because it's very similar. How would you say butt in Spanish? I would probably say booty. Booty, that's good. You can just say that. Hope you like my booty. You'll be seeing a lot of it. I spend a lot of my summers in Ibiza. Um, I've, I'm from South America. It's a better performance when you just say the same line two or three times in a row. Like, I got nothing better to do? Come on already, papi. The standard, you know, Castilian Castellano accent, which is like the Spanish accent, which pretty much kind of walks, walks the line between all of them. Oye tú, ¿qué esperas? Oye tú, ¿qué estás esperando? ¿Qué esperas? Yeah, Oye tú, ¿qué estás esperando? The, the characters really do come alive and I think that's what has made this game so successful. Billy Zane, the voice of Brody. Super Zen Master, cutting a fine arc, hoping to spread a little love on the uh, slippery slope of life. It was like nothing like I had expected. Never it was mammoth in its undertaking, and beautiful and detailed as it should be. This is a hoot. Do you play it against? Um, no, but geez, I hope they give me one. Huh? Yes, we have enlightenment. No, I've never done voice for a video game before. Uh, sold cars <laughs> on the radio, and um, the character uh, that uh, I play is, uh, um, I think, a really refreshing and whimsical um, stab um, in in a new terrain, in a new medium. This one bad karma? That'd be bad karma on too, Bob. I secretly love to subvert any art form with a bit of a spiritual message. I've just been hit. Yeah, you just been hit by somebody I don't like and you're just not happy Just been hit by about somebody it. I don't like. I'm not happy about that. Screw that. Hey, watch your inner self. Yeah, I snowboard. I rise above, one with air. And I switch feet when I snowboard. I, don't, I, I go between goofy footed and regular. No fear, be here. Ow! Oh, man, truth hurts. The process was you know, beautifully um, collaborative and uh, the common denominator with all the characters and all the um, artists, you're yeah. voicing them is uh, you've encouraged um, people to bring in as much of their own character uh, as possible, to humanize it as much. Oh, ye of little faith! Come on, Brody, get it together! It's, it makes sense, dude, you know. Bring the, bring the silicon closer to carbon. <laughs> Nick Malaparaman, the voice of Moby. Moby Jones, superstar, got more medals, Booyaka! What's your backside? It's been a long day, but it's always fun just, uh, I guess, screwing around in the studio. Oi, mate, don't leave me alone. <laughs> Sorry, it's tiring. It's amazing how your voice is just like, I've got a meeting at 11, so if we can hurry this up. And at the end of the day, you know, I've got to go and do some more talking now, and I'm going to be talking quietly for once, I think. Oh, sorry, mate. You're looking at a winner, baby. I'm fat, I'm round, I'm worth a million pounds. It's Moby Jones! It's Moby Jones! Nick just works around the corner for me, and you can always hear him when he's out there, when he's talking. I mean, Nick is Moby. He's just as loud, and he's just as brash and outgoing, so, you know, he's a shoe in for it. It's all part of the game! Do you know what? It's difficult to keep the consistency. You want to try and have the same character at the start uh, to the end. Big mistake. You're an idiot. Get out of here. Were you even awake out there, Mobs? Hey, mummy, where are you going now? Who's the bloody man? And with Moby, because it's not my real voice, I'm constantly trying to find just that level and that pitch that kind of fits the accent I'm trying to achieve. Whenever you're ready. I can't hear anything you're saying, you know that? Yahoo! I think maybe I've kind of changed a bit because I'm more confident in who that person is. It's Moby Jones in full effect. There's none better than me, mate. None better than me, pal. When I first did it, it was kind of like, um, all right, there's this black London guy. My voice doesn't quite work, so you kind of develop things. And I think he's probably a more rounded character from start to finish with the, in terms of the audio. 
gonna make you famous. I think, wow, it's, you know, some pretty big names to be, well, not really working with. At least I can put it on my resume, work with these, these top people. Hey, we gotta stop this in this way. Moby has left the building. Tag, you're it. Still love you, honey. Ryan Wall, the voice of Mac. Mac is back, baby! I'm back taking over the character of Mac again. Like, I, I played his character last year. I'm playing it again, just adding a lot more voices. Sticking it sweet! He doesn't take no garbage from nobody. Yeah, Mac is the man! Check it out as I scratch it tricky. Man, messing with my head, G! I'm the showstopper! Epic! He's cocky, he's, you know, arrogant. He just wants to... And I'll go at it. Yeah! That was sick! Got to have the good. When I look at the character in the game, like, I look at him and stuff, and just, it's just like, what? That kind of looks like me, man. Like, I threw that up one time! When we did David Arquette as the Eddie character, like, the lines are good, but a couple of things he just won. I came, I saw, I kicked butt. Make it way more you. I think it might be tough, man, because David Arquette, I know he, he throws some, some good stuff down there. If there's five great borders in the world, I'm three of them. Stop, baby! It's like taking candy from a baby. I got this race all wrapped up. Yeah, I guess I got to tone it up a bit, man. Just get, get a little bit more wild and stuff. Just, you know, get up in it. Wake up, bonehead! Boom, bass, dick! The definition! Yo, I'm bringing the smack down! In real life, Ryan, Ryan is a DJ. You know, he uh, he lives that hip hop lifestyle. He's a cool kid, and so he works for Matt. When I play records, like at a, a big party, like a rave or something, you know, it's more just playing records and seeing people dance, but like, when you're on stage here, it's like you're on the spot and you are like, every emphasis is on you and what you do, and it's, it's kind of more of a, a physical, I don't know, high. Matt got Did you get we're done, man. How was it? Kicked it. Kicked the large, man. My voice is almost gone, but... Unbelievable! I'm the man!